This morning in our series, Red Carpet Confidential, Creating the Perfect Face. Celebrity makeup artist Joanna Schlipp, who's done Christina Applegate, Ellen Pompeo, Eva Longoria, etc., etc., etc. Good morning. Hi. This morning you're going to show us how to achieve these three looks. What's the first one that you have, Joanna? First one I have is the classic red lip. And a trick that I wow. use, a lot of people are afraid to wear red, but a trick that I use is to stain the lips first with Jell-O. And people, it, not only does it taste good, but it is a commitment and it'll last all night long. Cherry, strawberry, raspberry, any of them? Your flavor. As long as it's red. As long as it's red. Okay. And you can get sugar free if you're afraid of carbs. So how do you do that? Um, basically, you take a Q-tip and you wet it, and then you dip it into the um, powder, and you make a kind of a paste and you put it on top of your lips. That is awesome. So should the paste still have like granules in it or? It will a little bit. A little bit, okay. Yeah. So you put it on your lips and then what? And then basically just let it sit for a while. You can do your hair at that time and then after, when you're ready to walk out the door, the red gloss on top. And so if you have these striking red lips, like what's your name? Eleanor. Like Eleanor mm -hmm. does, the rest of the face should look how? The rest of the face should be matte. And you want to be really careful about that by having it too matte. So you use a mineral powder instead of a regular powder so that it won't look cakey. And the eyes should be just as pronounced or a little no, bit? No, it should be a little bit simple. You've got to kind of pick a feature. Okay. Well, let's, speaking of eyes, let's come over to our second okay, look. Great. Because uh, what's really hot right now is a smudgy look, not a smoky look. What's the difference? Okay. A smoky look is usually a, a more dramatic. You can use blacks, darks, browns, whatever. A smudge look is a softer look with color. And what we've done here on Nora is we've done a slate gray. And it's, it's so user friendly because it doesn't have to be precise and perfect. And people have to remember that it's just makeup, and if you mess up, you can just wipe it off and start all over again. Don't be afraid of it. And if you do do this, you want to play down your uh, lip for sure. And you can do that with concealer, if you have naturally really red lips, and then put a nude gloss on top. Okay, how did you achieve this look? What did you do exactly to her eyes? Basically, we used a slate gray eyeshadow. All just, over the lid? Yeah, all over Will the you lid. close your eyes? Top and see. bottom. Ooh, that top is and bottom. Gorgeous. Okay. Look up. And then prescriptive gloss on top. And basically, that was it. And the concealer first, sorry, and then prescriptive gloss on top. So the dr more dramatic smoky is out and smudge is in. Smudge is in. Right. And, and smudge is great because it's with color, and you, and you know, it really can bring out the eye. Let's show an example. Like, Ava Longoria is known to wear that smoky eye. Right. I think we have a picture of it. So this is what, like, a smoky eye looks That's like. That's a smoky eye. Okay, as which opposed... Which is fantastic. Which we love, very sexy, as opposed to the smudgy eye, which is worn Ella here. Pompeo has it, too, in a photo, right, that we have from yeah. the red carpet? Yes. Okay. Oh, this is, okay, good. So it's yeah. a little more subtle. Yeah, I used gray on her that day, yes. Yeah, so All right, let's go thing. with the dewy look, which yes. we always see on J-Lo, famously yes. on the red carpet, and which you have recreated beautifully. Yes, absolutely. It's really important when you're doing dewy, it's about product placement. So you don't want to be dewy all over because you're going to end up looking greasy. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you do like the bridge of the nose, the cheekbones, eyebrow bone, and that is about it. And then it's really important when you're holding your clutch to the back of your hands, oh. because they take that picture of you holding the clutch and you wanna make sure your hands look good too. What about the neck? As well, a decolletage, of course, arms, any skin that's showing. And that's you say good. to your, your clients, touch up constantly for your red carpet night? You've gotta to touch up constantly. No makeup lasts forever. Just call us smudgy and smoky. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I thought I was Dewey. And look at that Dewey. <laughs> Johanna Schlipp, thank you so much.